back on the road and on the old Gan railway line. We've just driven off the uh, old Garn highway uh, to a, some rock carvings and these were done by the Yuaninga people. And here is one of the rock carvings. This clay pan that we saw from up on the ridge is a favoured place, or was a favoured place, for the Aboriginals to camp because the clay would retain the water much longer and it would also attract emus, kangaroos and uh, water birds which provided a source of food. Well, we're on our way to Chambers Pillar and Castle Rock and they are in the distance there. And we've got ourselves bogged in sand. This rock formation is called Castle Rock, probably for obvious reasons. It looks like a castle or the remains of a castle. We've travelled uh, 45 kilometres uh, off the old Gan Railway uh, Road uh, to this place, which I think I called Chamberlain Pillar earlier, but it, in fact it's called Chambers Pillar. We eventually got ourselves out of that sand trap. Uh, I didn't video it because it wasn't sand, it was actually something called bull dust, which is even finer than sand. It's almost like talcum powder and it's quite difficult to shovel and it's also very difficult to get out of it. It took us about 45 minutes to get out of that uh, particular trap. Mount Dare Hotel at the western end of the Simpson Desert. Heading down to Dalhousie Spring. And in the middle of this arid desert is Dalhousie Springs, along with a few hundred birds. And the water is supposed to be incredibly warm because it's a thermal spring. And they're right, it's like a warm bath. It is incredible. Ah. Here's Jeremy in the uh, Dalhousie Springs. Hot pool. It is hot. It's 34 to 36 degrees centigrade. Beautiful. From the beauty of uh, Dalhousie Spring and the beautiful thermal bath that we had, we are now at Dalhousie Station, or the ruins of Sa Dalhousie Station. And this is where uh, people used to live and tend to use and cattle. 
but a pretty isolated place. Well, fancy coming out of your front door in the morning and be faced with having to find your livestock in all of that. Pretty desolate up here. And only two people managed this estate or this station. We're now coming into a town called Unadada. Unadada. And this is the famous Pink Roadhouse at Unadada.